Contrary to what we already know and what we've been told by medical doctors, at least the medical doctors that I've seen, many of them are specialists, eczema is not a skin problem. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. These are just connections that I've made in my own healing journey and I hope that you would also listen to your body and notice or make that connection by yourself when all other methods to suppress the rash doesn't work. Is it the medical doctor's fault? Not really because that's how they've been trained and I feel unless they have a family member whom they really love whether their child or their loved one has eczema and they took the time to dig deep into the root cause they probably will just say that eczema is something you cannot cure and that you can only manage it. That's what I've been told over and over again. But today I want to tell you that eczema is not a skin problem. Eczema is a gut problem. It's your digestive problem. They are not performing optimally. You cannot detox through your liver, through your intestines. When we cannot detox through the main channels, then our skin is the largest organ, the second detox channel, which will bring up all these toxins through the skin, causing our rash. It all boils down to a balance of good bacteria and bad bacteria in our gut. So good bacteria should always be more than bad bacteria in our gut. So when bad bacteria becomes more, which happens very easily, even when we do not increase our bad bacteria, our lifestyle habits, pollution, the things we eat kills the good bacteria, which makes the ratio of the bad more. Then that causes a lot of problems and one of it is eczema. So let's make this a little bit more visual. Imagine a brand new fish tank with a fish inside. So you feed the fish every day and the fish poos and you feed the fish and the fish poos. So over time, if you do not clean the tank, it gets dirty, it gets congested, it has bacteria and all sorts of diseases that makes the fish sick and possibly eventually die if we still do not clean that tank. So imagine your gut is just like that tank. We feed it and we feed it and we feed it good stuff, a lot of bad stuff in this day and age. So many pesticides, so many chemicals. The more you feed it with bad stuff, the worse it gets. But sometimes when it's already so dirty, even when you feed it fish food to the fish, it wouldn't help the fish. Just like why suddenly you're getting flare-ups from healthy food items like maybe a tomato or an apple or salad or stuff like that. It's because it's already so dirty. Even you put good stuff inside, it's not going to be absorbed or digested very nicely. Now adding to the chemicals we put on our body, which is also absorbed into our body, and the chemicals we eat, and one of it is steroid. You put steroid on your skin. It maybe helps, maybe doesn't. For me, it didn't help much. At least it came back worse. So putting chemicals on your skin is similar to maybe you want to um, disinfect the fish tank when it's already dirty. So imagine maybe putting chlorine. I don't know what else to put to disinfect but in swimming pools they put chlorine. So just imagine putting chlorine to kill bacteria. But the thing is as long as you do not clear the root of the problem which is the dirty fish tank, no matter how much chlorine you put in, in the end it's still gonna kill that fish. So anyway, what I'm saying is that no matter how you try to cover up, if you do not get to the root of the problem and remove this dirt from the tank, which is your gut, it's not going to go anywhere. And when it comes to our gut, it takes a lot of time. It depends how dirty our gut is. 
it takes a lot of time for you to see improvement it takes a lot of time for you to heal depends how dirty it already is depends how much chemicals are already in your body and how much good bacteria you have left in the body so if you're healing from eczema if you're taking the natural route be patient have a lot of patience trust that your body is just trying to detox for you and it wants to heal you really really just have to help your body heal okay now so maybe you're wondering then why do babies get eczema because they are drinking breast milk which is the best food they can put in their body the thing is when baby comes out through the birth canal they take their first gulp of bacteria so that is their foundation the building block of their own gut flora but it is inherited from their mother so that is why when mothers take good probiotics during pregnancy the risk of a baby with eczema goes way down if you don't know anything about probiotics i have a video up here where you can check it out so that is their building block and today we have so much less diversity in our bacteria because so much has been killed off through all this pollution and lifestyle habits compared to our great great grandmothers or even just our grandmother's time why is it that they can do so many other stuff and eat so many other things without being ill and these days we have people getting ill so young because they also have a lot less toxins in their products my mom told me that my great grandmother used only a bar of soap from head to toe and a bar of soap has not much chemicals besides fragrance probably but these days we have one product for our skin that has 20 ingredients in them so just imagine take a moment so that is how our bacteria our the diversity of our gut bacteria has been reduced and destroyed and that is what is passed down to the child when the child is born when a child is born anyway <laughs> so we can control what we put in our body we can control what we put on our body we probably cannot control much the air we breathe we can partly control the water we drink but also remember why i encourage meditation is because like i said it's interconnected the thoughts we think if they are negative it's going to affect the balance of our good gut bacteria it's going to kill them off as well 